Welcome to another Java tutorial. The console is not the most user-friendly interface. And in Java, there's a graphics user interface library available for you to use. Another way to say that is GUI. And here's a simple program on how to use that GUI library. And it's one line of code. J option pane and show message dialog takes two parameters. First parameter you can leave as null. And the second parameter is your string. Pretty simple. And we just run this as a Java application. And there you go. All it does is print welcome to Java. Notice that it has the special token backslash n backslash n, which is new line. So it prints this all on separate lines. Okay, that's great to display something. Again, we need to do input to make things useful. So let's look at figure 318, and that's on page 95. And this time, instead of using show message dialog, we want to show an input dialog. What is your name is the message for that dialog box, and it's going to return a string. And we want to store that string as the name because we're asking for the person's name. And then we'll use show message dialog. And we're going to format this string into the message variable. And we're going to put welcome, the person's name, to Java programming. And percent %s, again, is a special token for a string. And the value of name is what we want to replace this token. So if we run this, and I'm going to put in the pi guy. And this works like other dialog boxes. You can click on it, or you can hit enter. And then it displays the message, welcome the pi guy to Java programming. So that's a more user-friendly way to get input other than using the console. With computer programming, there's usually many ways to solve a problem. Sometimes you might not remember how to use string format. We could always do, I'm going to comment this out, string message equals welcome space plus name plus quote comma to Java programming. And let's run this. Okay, it's no different other than I forgot a comma. So you can add strings together in Java, and that's a simpler way than using the string format function if you forget the string format function. But if you want to add formatted numbers, you should use the format command rather than just adding strings together. Now, one thing that you'll want to do is input numbers every once in a while, especially for your exercises. So we're going to enter a float. But we're going to input it as a string. And then J option pane. And we're going to show message. And we call this message two. And this time we're going to have to use string format. Here is your float to two decimal places. And the arg is going to be number. And I should say message two. We need to use the double class. And this is with a capital D. And we need the value of the string. And that's stored in number. 
And let's run this. The Pi Guy again. And of course, we're going to enter Pi. And to two decimal places is 3.14. So that's a simple way to get input using the GUI library instead of using the console. It's a little bit more work, but it's not too difficult, but it's more user friendly. So that completes this lesson.